Hey guys, we're back with a another Give me the detonator. part of the. What are you talking about? The detonator. I thought you'd bring it. You were supposed to bring it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I love the guys that just stood there while uh, he shot him with the second barrel. Yeah, this is another part of the Max Payne walkthrough here on Classic Lead. I am Dustin. Thank you for watching. I have to change some settings here. Give me one moment. Oh, I'm still jumping like an idiot. Shot ages ago, and the bomb was missing a detonator. Two guys down here, both on my right. What the hell? <laughs> okay, this part can be kind of difficult. The police are on their way. New York's finest, they're gonna be here soon. So stick to the plan. We've got our own private exit route. In and out, do your thing. Bam, bam, thank you, man. All right. Through the store, there should be one guy standing directly in front of the doors. Dude in a hoodie, usually. There's my guy. Scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking, and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. score lay on the table. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. So guys, if I see something that I can interact with, I'm going to. If you prefer I don't do that, let me know and I'll uh, I'll skip some of this stuff. But uh, as of right now, I'm going to let all the... Uh, Voice acting and comic book the bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Comic book sections, uh, by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. <sighs> Shut up, Max. I'm gonna let all the stuff play out, so if you don't want me to, let me know. Alright, walking back here. At the top of the steps, they're gonna ambush me. Oh. 
Oh, he threw a grenade. He threw a grenade. Yes, he did. Okay. That went too bad. I tried to jump past the bench, but I just kind of jumped into it instead. Six minutes, we're going to keep going. There's no point in cutting this too much. Hold it. Fast. Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex. We're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station. This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. This was one of the first moments that uh, I'd seen in video games that had bullet time. Uh, or at least the like the, the sweeping camera during the slow motion. I'd just seen it in uh, The Matrix about the time that this game came out. And the time where it was in Resident Evil Code Veronica where the annoying kid jumped through the window. That part blew my mind as well. That was when uh, you first started seeing stuff like that in video games. Nowadays, it's no big deal. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Pino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from the sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors cheap monster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a mess. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves, or you get some wine on downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. <laughs> I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan. So don't answer. 
It's where I'm, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Cane in the butt. Ha <laughs> ha! Pay to the max! Joe Swap Pig, got a ticket of Mother City for you. Feet first and lying down. <laughs> caught my eye. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnini. Gagnini was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Bosses! Everything all right? Bosses! Joey! Vigilio! You all right in there? Quick! Okay, but we can't wait for this. We gotta go in now! Bosses! We're coming in! It's pain! Still jumping. All right, guys. I'm around 12 minutes now, so I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, do us a favor. Show us some love by throwing us a like, a comment, a subscribe. If you like what you see, uh, share our stuff on Facebook. Uh, you know, if you like our content, help us get out there. Uh, the more popular we are, the more likely we are going to be able to uh, continue making stuff. So, again, thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the flip side.